the Cartesian coordinate system. The coordinate plane is divided into four quadrants. You start in the upper right corner and you go counterclockwise to get your four quadrants. These are divided into four quadrants by two axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. This side of x is your positive side. This side will be your negative side. This side of y is the positive side, and this side of y is the negative side. The point right in the middle is called the origin, and it is the point 0, 0. Whenever you graph points on the coordinate plane, you're going to have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. And what you want to do is graph, go to the x first and then go to the y. So if you wanted to graph the point negative 2, 4, you would go 2 in the left direction on x for the negative 2 and then up 4. So here's negative 2, 4. This would be the point negative 2, 4. Okay, so let's practice plotting some points. Point A is at 4, 2, so we will go 4 to the right and up 2. This will be point A. Okay, for negative 3, 5, we will go negative 3, so 3 to the left, and then up 5. This will be point B. Okay, how about C? Negative 1, 4. That's 1 to the left and then 4 up. Uh, 2, negative 3 would be 2 to the right and then 3 down. E, we have 0, 2. Well, 0 first means you go 0 left and right, but you go 2 up. So this would be, it's not wanting to mark, is it? This would be point E. And then F, we have negative 6, 0. So you go 6 in the negative direction on X, but you go 0 up or down. So this would be point F. If you want to sketch the, a graph or an equation by plotting points, you need to make what we call a T-chart. If you wanted to, you could solve this equation for y first. Sometimes that will help you do that a little bit easier. So if we solve this for y, we'd have to subtract x from both sides. So we would have y equals 3 minus x. We'll just do it like that for now because we subtracted x from both sides. So let's just pick a few points. Let's pick 1, 0, and negative 1. What is 3 minus 1? Well, that's 2. What is 3 minus 0? Well, that's 3. What's 3 minus a negative 1? Remember, minus negative is plus positive, and 3 plus 1 is 4, so this one would be 4. Plot these three points. We have 1, 2. We have 0, 3, so we go 0, 3. 3 <laughs> won't stay there. Okay, and then we have negative 1, 4. Now that you have these points, you just draw your line. <coughs> and there we go. That took a little while. Okay, how about the next one? We have y squared equals x. So let's make our t chart. and plug in some values for what this time? If we plug in values for x, we're going to have to take the square root of both sides because y is squared. So I actually think it would be easier to pick some y values this time since it's pretty much already solved for x. Let's say we can pick negative 1, 0, and 1 again. So if y is negative 1, negative 1 squared is actually a 1, right? 
0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. Maybe we should pick a couple more just so we know what's going on with this graph. Let's pick a negative 2 and a 2. What is negative 2 squared? Well, that's 4. What is 2 squared? That's 4. Okay, let's graph these five points and see what we get. 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, negative 2, and 4, 2. So it looks like a parabola, but it's a little bit sideways. Something like that. 